here's the thing. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to have a, a better experience, let alone change your life, you got to flip the switch, man. There's a switch in your brain. There's a power button in your mind that is placed right at the edge of your quote-unquote limits. And when you make that conscious decision to flip that switch, when you say to yourself, Fuck it. Let's go. Let's be great. Something in you will shift. And if you stay present, you give yourself over to the moments, fully engaged, fully focused. That's when the magic happens. You'll be in that zone, man. That sweet spot, you know. That zone where you get a rush of energy. Some way, somehow, you know exactly what to do, when to do it. It really feels like Something is taking over you, man. It's the best feeling in the world. I'm telling you, whatever it is that you're doing, you want to make flow a priority. Because when you start growing with the flow, you start glowing with the flow. It's showtime, baby. Something just clicks. You're turned on. You start to shine. You radiate. And because of that radiance, everything that you need will show up. Everything. Ideas, inspiration will come. You become more creative. You'll trust yourself more and act on your instincts in a way that you never did before. And the more you do that, the more confident you become. To a point where it creates kind of like um, a loop, a confidence, competence loop. Meaning that the more confident you are, the more you, you will want to keep elevating yourself, keep working on yourself, working on your craft. Thus you become more competent and more competence leads to more confidence. It's just a virtuous cycle and it doesn't stop unless you do. That's why when you see some people, you know, like when you see some people being great at what they do, there may be some people who might think, yeah, but it's because they were born special. Nah, man. They simply figured out what was their thing, their passion, their gifts, their interest. They chose to do something they love and they specialized in it. That's what they did. They committed themselves to be better every time. They got into that loop, into that, that zone, and they stayed in it, deeply immersed in it. Then they became special in their world. But trust me, this is available to everyone. That's the reason why I'm making this video right now. I want more people to understand this. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do, but in order to sustain it, you gotta love the game you play. You gotta love the game you play, man. Whatever you're doing has to mean something to you. Because we all know shit ain't necessarily easy, man. Shit is not easy. But it doesn't matter when you love it. You still find joy in the process. You still manage to have fun, man. It is always more enjoyable when you're being pulled by something instead of being pushed. And even if you are pushed, because we all are at some point, let's face it. Embrace the challenge. Face it head on. If you're afraid, do it afraid. Fuck it, let's go. That's the switch I'm talking about. That's courage. And that alone can change your life. Listen, being afraid, it's absolutely normal. We all humans, we all feel fear. But keep this in mind next time you catch yourself being afraid of doing something. The monster is always bigger in your head. It's all in your head. When you take control of your mind, when you keep building that mental fortitude, you will start to move with certainty, even in uncertain times. And when you get to that point, trust me, ain't nobody stopping you. You become unstoppable. If you know anyone who truly believes they can achieve anything they set their mind to, they're on that level mentally. And you can do it too. It's up to you. But whatever you tell yourself, just remember one thing. If you fight for your limitations, you get to keep them. So be great. Get out there and be great like you know you're great. And give it all you got. All you got. You built for this. Let's go.